the whole thing is a kind of creation story or an evolution story. I mean, the first, the first, first thing is not a thing. It's a nothing. What on earth is that? And then when it, when it starts to move, the Spirit of God hovering over the waters, what you get is... And then you have this cataclysmic event. It's pure violence. That is primordial violence. That is the Big Bang. This peace enters your bloodstream and then changes who you are. The entire blueprint of everything, all the way from subatomic particles to galactic clusters, it's all here. We demanded the government to hold a direct dialogue with us students to push the uh, political reform. The government refused. I set up the first broadcast station. I put the cassette of Beethoven live to cover the voice of the government system. There was a real transformation. It gave us a sense of hope, uh, solidarity. All people become brothers. We just felt that oh, we were free at last. We regain our dignity as a human being. For me, that, uh, that was a movement for hope. And the tanks and the machine guns killed that hope. If given a chance to meet one person in history, for me it would be Beethoven. And the question I would ask him, if I only had one question, would be the Ninth Symphony. The Ninth seems to express most completely what human beings are struggling for. It's a battle cry for humanity. It is the hymn of possibility. In 1973 began a very dark time. Pinochet took the power and he made one of the worst military coup. This dream from, from equality was gone. The music was banished and happiness was banished. I was in a room with the window, with the uh, iron grid. And one day, I heard the music, only the music. It was like a shield against the fear, against the pain, against the darkness. When you are in the deepest, darkest, Hope? The music was hope.
technically are. I don't even know, I'm not even sure I'm a musician. I'm a guitar player. But there's no reason why that should stop me from, uh, from writing the lyrics of Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Night Symphony. You don't have to wait till the London Symphony Orchestra gives you permission or asks you. The fact that I've written the two verses is all the validation I need. There they are. And if I can make those two verses singable by the kids, sit, then great, I'll do that as well. OK, Man of Destiny, here we go. <sighs> Music is something that is mood-enhancing and mind-bending. You can change or enhance that melancholy feeling or that joyous feeling you have. And Beethoven obviously felt that deeply. You can imagine if he, you know, heard his favourite song while he was in the supermarket, stop, it would stop him dead and mess up his day, you know. Beethoven's message.